Welcome back, everybody. My name is Shinus Wolf, or Shinus Wolf, whichever one you prefer. Last time we left off, I invaded a complex full of really bad people. <laughs> Armed to the teeth with explosives and giant robots that are out to kill me. As soon as they see me. Yeah. Um, and I just destroyed a gigantic robot from hell after I don't remember if I died or not. I would have to check my video. Oh, that's right. I set off an alarm. Yes, yes I do. Let's try and hack this chopper. Grab. You can't escape. Cover me. Very subtle. EMP! It's clear that they saw me. Access granted. Sweet. This is not to the alarm. Yes. Uh, it works, it works. Mm. 
No, I killed him. <laughs> Sniper rifle ammo. Ooh, someone had a sniper rifle. Ooh. Well, at least I got the sniper rifle ammo for my rifle. Get it. Let's deactivate that and then that. Ooh, an EMP grenade. That will come really handy. New software. Some gun darts. Sweet. Actually, switch my stun gun. Nope. Keep forgetting the button. Manually, I haven't heard from you since the first one. What? Uh, let me 
find turn off the ones upstairs, I have to find a terminal downstairs. Fabulous. Oh, there's somebody still here. Yeah. I'll stun gun them. Used to be on the safe side. Side. Yeah. Jensen, that frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what I can gather, the guy by giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Bridget. I'll find him. Get no ways in there. Killers. Wow, I must have a lot of ammo. Okay, let's take care of these guys so I can explore the rest. Let's It's...
Uh, I got a lot of shotgun ammo. And I got a lot of EMPs, I just noticed. What does this do again? Right. I'll hold on to that. What does this do? Typhoon ammo. Don't need it. Exactly subtle, but it works. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I can get that any time. No, I can't get that right now. <laughs> I want this cloak. Which I can't get, get either. for the noise there's no one working on the garage door if you can hear that banging in the background such mm, I don't think it's gonna be all that important to be honest here, that terminal it's right here oh bathroom okay nothing important is here I should probably save those, to be honest. Oh, God damn it. Interrogation room. Nothing useful. to set my timer, I just realized this.
I'm bad at sneaking. Don't blame me. Don't judge me. Let's see what's on this. The hell is that supposed to be? Can Louisiana pull cat caught out in the body with its knickers down? Oh, never mind. Sorry for all the noise, there's work being done. That's a lot of box spots. This is a lot of robots. I think I should equip my 
use my sword, right? We got a boss battle. <laughs> you are one big mother. Well, looky here. We got us a boy scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barry! Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's right. I always have trouble with this guy. Even his goddamn motherfucking explosives. Well, it was probably not very wise of me to. Okay, actually, let's get out my shotgun. And then my grenade. No, that's my concussion. Need EMP. EMP, yes. Oh. Let's make this hurt. <laughs> Here, I saw this. Let's get. Damn it! Okay, I should only probably use one. Time he decides to come back online. No, I don't want a concussion grenade. I want that. Shotguns. Everyone's best friend. <laughs> Don't die on me yet. This, this Boy, Boy Scout's, Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, 
The one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky dick biotech corporation's company secrets? <laughs> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai. He shot court guards. <laughs> Penthouse. Tell him. <coughs> Tell him. Tell him Baron sent you straight to hell! Jensen, what's going on down there? Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You alright? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. That's right, I can't, because he decided to commit suicide. Let's do some selling, yeah? Get that shit off my face! Before I shove it up your ass! Yo! What's good, man? You looking for some new toys? Might be a good idea. I could use some... I don't have a train grapple. They're useless. All good, son. Yeah, take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon if you ask me. Strap in and hold on! Welcome to that book, Habits and Big Show. Welcome back to the day of sex. Revolution. <laughs> Wait, I think I did say that. I don't remember. <laughs> It is friggin' hot. <laughs> so warm. <laughs> it's not kosher. <laughs> what time is it? Mm, it's not bad. Mm, they even go some munchies after this. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, we're going back to Seraf Industries to talk to David Seraf. Sorry, no sniping today, Sidelight. And everyone else who wants to join, who likes mocking me. No sniping today. Maybe next time. Next time. Meh. Anyways, load faster. Load faster. Load faster. Why are you so bad at this? Come on, game. Stop being a dick. <laughs> I want to play. Let me play. <laughs> Goddamn loading screens. Yes, I get it. The loading screen is pretty. It is very pretty. No, oh, get me back to the game. Before I fry. Thank you. Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I loved you, Francis. But I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could. Or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smacked out in the middle of Detroit. I've seen stranger things. Let's go talk to Francis. We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro odds you might want to get a tag in, but the ones against them too. You're saying that pro-human activists might see this visit as treachery? I'm just saying anything is possible, so keep your eyes out for suspicious characters. Right. No one relaxes until Taggart and his entourage are out. Go wonderful Taggart's here. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen. And this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it, specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something. And I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access. And was streaming a lot of data through it. Shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Don't you have some investigating to do? Don't push it, Francis. We're not friends. Hey, Adam. You gonna leave something for us to do? Or are we only good enough for keeping watch over the cleaning crew? <laughs> I'll try to leave you some fun. Don't worry. Ah, uh, Detroit. I think it's also known as City of Brotherly Love. I could be wrong. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaac. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? 
I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Hutz. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy dependency. Rejection psychosis. Any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. I'm glad to hear that he was talked down. Just doing my job here, sir. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age. <laughs> no. But I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif hadn't done something that could compromise us... Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, that was a point in this conversation. I'm going to save right here. No. Oh. Here, thank you. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. 
The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them, because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But there's something you're not getting here, Adam. Business is war with no clear battleground and no rules to keep our enemies honest. In this company, I'm the Commander-in-Chief, and I have to be ready for anything, and I will do anything to ensure that I am. Now, I hired you because I needed a general I could trust, one who knows how to obey orders. Adam, are we done here? I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. I wasn't criticizing you, Adam. But I suppose you raise a good point. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I mean not, not directly. The data you're so nervous about is little more than a bunch of routine fact-finding reports, the kind of stuff I deal with every day. Megan pointed me in a direction and I followed up on it. That's all. And now that I've shared this much with you, I have to ask, how you're knowing the fine details will keep the rest of us any more secure. Can't you trust me to take care of things from here? Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't and used it to get past my security measures. I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. Adam, I didn't mean to imply... You're right, okay? You're right. I, I really shouldn't keep this information from you. I just hope you'll understand why I did. All right. Look. The truth is... 
I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people. Potential new recruits, like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. I went better than I thought it would. Usually I just fuck that up. <laughs> Separate this into separate videos. Let's get security hub. Shake my computer. Computer. Interest. Athena, Athena tells, tells me you spoke, spoke to Seraph. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Seraph spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride, doggy. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. What a smart ass. <laughs> Let's go roam around the city.
And once we get into the city, I'm going to call it quits. Or call it a video, I should say. I'm going to try to do another video next week of Dead Space. Calm down, Augie. I'm good to go out and play in a bit. Once I finish recording. And this loading screen ends. In the meantime, I'm going to take a drink of soda. Oh, it's all gone. Pity. Ow. Get to the game, 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 god damn it. Holy hell. Thank you. Alright. I have been Shoes Wolf, and this has been Deus Ex Human Revolution. I will see you guys next week, hopefully, if I can remember. <laughs> Alright. See you guys next time. Later.